11300 Beechwood Court, Taylor, Ed Fessler. Sound familiar? Don't piss the mailman off. He drove by, he was staring at my truck. And uh, yeah, he ain't gonna be happy. All right, anyway, eliminate this bed, seed and straw. Use the boulders to decorate these two bushes. Put Western Sunrise in the bushes. The rest of the rocks, he's gonna have somewhere on site for you to do something with them. The first suggestion was just to put them over there in that area there. I'm not sure if that'll be what he wants to do at that time when you're here. Next deal, French drain on the property line, but off the property line so that they can put a fence in someday. The fence post is the property line. You're gonna, bo bo you're gonna go into the basin. I see all types of uh, boxes. So the line there, and that property marker right there, that's property marker. I see all type of uh, cable and all that. So, you know, you might wanna come a good ways off the property line. And it'll be a French drain. You're gonna plug it right into that basin right there, just like I said. All right. We're going to try to level this shed. And the way that we're going to do that is take all the stuff out of it. And we're going to pick up the corner very simply with the forks. And we're just going to put bricks under it and that's it. Or move gravel around, do whatever you got to do. I told them we would bring 4 by 8 by 12 blocks. Like the ones that you build the pillars out of. Not necessarily that color, but blocks like that. It doesn't even have to be blocks like that. But that we would cut different size risers, let's say. Concrete risers. Similar to what you see there. And you start playing with the heights, go inside, level it with a level, see how much you need to bring it up. And play with each corner. Level it first, see where it's at. And we're just trying to get this sucker level, that's all we're trying to do. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can see it's like falling down in a way. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we're getting pressure treated plywood or you can get like dog ear pickets and cut the dog ear off. That's fine too. And we're going to... Um, we're putting in river rock here when it's all said and done, but he wants us to pu pull out the gravel and then just put the wood so that it extends down so that the critters aren't getting under there, as they like to say, and then just put the rock up against it unless you have a better idea. Now, you can use dog ear, uh, fence, pine wood, whatever, pressure treated wood and just cut them off, and that, that'd probably be the easiest way instead of cutting plywood that's super expensive and uh, just cut the dog ear off. Um, so do that, and you'll just set it up against the metal, going down, I don't know, I think they're like five and a half inches, so if, you know, it'll go down about four inches if you stick it up an inch and a half. Uh, and then we're taking off this top retaining wall, and we're gonna cap it just like that one over there. I forget what color cap that is, I'll go take a look, it's either gray or country. And we're capping this wall, and we're putting river rock in here. Uh, we also talked about using those boulders over there to retain this from the cap. So you take this and retain it to there. And then possibly cutting some of this grass out of the way, not pulling it out, but then using the boulders to retain it up to the wall on the other side. And then all this is going to be river rock inside. So with the shed, you know, just do the best that you can. I told him he's just trying to save from having to buy a $3,000 shed. So I told him, you know, we would just try to level it for him basically. And then I, you know, there's no guarantees. So basically, you know, it might take the, I don't know, the bobcat maybe with some forks, unless you think the Vermeer will lift the corner up. But basically you're just gonna lift, you know, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you're gonna have to try to level it. So I got you into it and I, I humbly apologize for doing that to you. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Oh, and then seed and straw over here. And X at the grade that goes to the French drain, like grade it even in spots where you're not working, uh, removing this anyway. This is asparagus if you're hungry. It's a shame to get rid of that. But like over here, you know, you can push some of that water over. You got this hump right here. If you want to take it out or I don't know, whatever, just grade this area and make the French drain work. All right, it's hot. Sorry about this video. <laughs>